Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's session, we will talk about CDS Views tricks in S4 HANA. I'm sure you all are aware of or working with CDS Views in S4 HANA. It's been a long time SAP has released many different varieties and types of CDS Views. They are used almost everywhere from Fury apps to the analytic queries, from the Fury applications, which are analytic applications to SAP S4 HANA embedded analytics. CDS views are the heart of SAP S4 HANA system. In our last video, we discussed about where can you find the CDS views pertaining to your areas as well as your functional expertise. If you have not seen that video, please hit the I button on the top to find out more about where can you find the CDS views relevant for your areas. Today's topic is more about traversing over the CDS, finding out the CDS views in the system, and a lot of different tricks about the CDS views, including which tables are being consumed to build this CDS view, and how many other CDS views it's dependent on, and where can I also see if a CDS view has parameters in an easy way, does it also include an OData service? So let's get started right away into the system. So go back to the ABAP development tools in Eclipse. I'm not going to explain the basics of CDS in this chapter, rather some quick tricks and tips about the CDS view. So this is our S4 HANA system. I'll just quickly go and type Control Shift A to open one of my favorite CDS view, which I use very often in the query browser or so-called embedded analytics. It's called C Sales Analytics Query CDS View. Let me click on that. And now you can see it has opened this CDS View. Now, you must wonder that this CDS View is using other CDS Views and then maybe this other CDS View is using some more other CDS Views. And this way it becomes very complicated for you as a developer to find out what are all the different dependencies out there. What are all the different parameters I need to pass? Does this CDS offers me any kind of OData service? And if yes, how can I access that quickly? So all these things you can quickly find out. Now, the first question which I want to ask is, how can you find out that this CDS view is part of which package? Basically, I wanted to check which package SAP has delivered this CDS view. For example, this one. So it's very easy, just go to the ADT and hit this button, a link with editor. The moment you press, you can see it has opened the complete hierarchy where this CDS view is located. It's locating the CDS view in the system. And you can easily find out that it's part of VDM SD analytics package. You can also see here, this is the only CDS view it's displaying currently. The reason is for performance sake, SAP, ADT has not loaded all the CDS views. Yet, if you want to load complete list of CDS views present in this package, it's very easy. As you can also see here, partly loaded, just right click here and say, load the full content. And now you get whole bunch of CDS views which are delivered by SAP as part of this package. You can see almost everything which you can find. So P, all our privates, I, interface views, and then we have C, consumption views, which are created on top. So that's about finding, locating the corresponding CDS. And, and now you can find a lot of amazing CDS views which are in the same family, as you can see also the latest one for analytic query, for sales analytics. And then we have, um, you know, this overdue sales order. Very often I do use this uh, incomplete sales order by category. Another very powerful and important CDS view which I use very, very often in S4 and embedded analytics. Then we have also the, um, the volume uh, volume analysis query about and the, the order item quantity uh, view and the, the, the order by month. These are some very important views out there which are consumption. So typically the consumption CDS views always have an OData service because they are used also in the query browser. And without you have an OData service, you cannot use them in um, in the query browser S4 HANA embedded analytics application. So maybe I wanted to know more about it. So there you have an outline view right there next to the project explorer. Just click on that 
And this gives you a quick outline about this CDS view. You can see there are two parameters, makes it pretty easy. And the moment I select on the right hand side, it's also highlighting these parameters. Together with that, you see how this view is being built. It's built on this particular view. So maybe if I just open an, another view, which is then built by other views and go to the outline view, you will now see uh, the associations here. What are all the other views it's associated and on what, uh, exactly on what views it's being built on. And then you can also find the elements, basically the properties which it exposes, makes it very handy and easy for me as a, as a developer to traverse and explore uh, more about the CDS content which is offered out there. So very powerful. Now the most interesting feature is the next one. All right, or maybe I will also show you another one. So I just select and you see here the audit expose. So this clearly indicates that there is definitely an annotation which is exposing the OData. And if you just highlight over here, you can see right now the service is not yet active. If service would have been active, I could also right click and say open and then it will launch my OData service without me going and searching this service in the, in the IWFND uh, main service transaction. I can right away open it from here, makes it so handy for me as a developer in the system to, uh, to open and do a quick preview of the data from the OData service created on CDS view. All right, so now next one comes is CDS Navigator. This is the most interesting feature which I could actually find recently. And now here you see extensions and metadata extensions. So if there is another view which you've created as an extension of this particular CDS, you can find that here, that which are all the custom views which are extending this one. And then you can also find the metadata annotations for um, metadata, uh, all the UI annotations for the, which are implemented in metadata extensions. So maybe for example, I will go back and open one of the CDS view which we had built during our, our, our project training. So the one which we have created during our project uh, development and training was probably this one. And I hope this has a metadata extension. Yes, it should have. So now I will open that one in the CDS Navigator and you can see I can easily find which is the metadata extension created for this CDS view here. Awesome, this makes it very handy and easy for us uh, to actually uh, find out which metadata extension is providing the annotations for this CDS. Now maybe I quickly come back to the, uh, to here and I can also right click, uh, of course you can just go back to the outline view, you see this CDS view, so this uh, maybe just open the CDS view and now you can see right click and open. So it will straight away launch uh, my browser because this OData is this time registered. So this is going to launch my browser and show me uh, show me the OData service uh, which is currently being created. So that's that's a very, very handy and powerful feature which we have with respect to CDS views. All right, let's come back. Maybe the one which we were using, the standard one. Yeah, this one. And now guys, the most powerful feature out here is this one, this guy called Dependency Analyzer and then we have activation graph. So this one, if you look at, look at the power of this, now it's gonna tell you all the database tables which this particular CDS view is actually querying from. Look at here. So it's showing you complete dependency graph that which are all the views, other views it's selecting from. All the deep analysis it has done quickly and found out the complete list of objects the type of joins and the tables which are participating ultimately to pull the data. So you see whole bunch of tables uh, which this CDS view is actually built upon and all the sub views which it is using, the complete dependency tree is being displayed here. Amazing, isn't it? So powerful, many a times I need to find out, okay, my God, I'm wondering which table it's selecting data from. So it makes it so handy for me. And also they offer you a graphical dependency uh, uh, chart here. So if you click on this, this is going to show you a graphical dependency now. Awesome. Look at this. This is huge, humongous. Look at this on the left side. This is huge. And maybe this is so complex, uh, makes it so easy now for me to read. Of course, 
uh, I need to read in the, the specific area if I'm interested. Uh, but this is another powerful feature which you can see uh, which SAP is offering as part of ADT to actually find out the complete dependency tree on the CDS. So you can then easily go ahead and explore which uh, CDS view is calling which other CDS views and ultimately which database table. So maybe I'll open the one something which is more easy to uh, easy to consume easy to read so that will be making my life a little more easier to show you so the one which i will go with um, is i underscore sales order just open that and now i go to the navigator show me the dependencies and uh, show me the graph dependency graph and now it's going to load me a dependency graph which i can easily traverse through to find out uh, what is exactly uh, the different um, different uh, tables and other views which which are actually uh, used to build this particular CDS? All right, so just come here. Let me just close this one. Go to CDS Navigator and I'll just yeah, let's open that. And this is the one. They make it easy. You see, this is just selecting data from these tables. And now you can see uh, much better, of course, a small scope, uh, it's a small view. Uh, you can see that over here, dependency graph. So the entity names. And now if you just click on that, it shows you the CDS names. If you switch, it will show you uh, the DDIC view names, actually. So this way you can also see the other CDS entity names, uh, which it is using to select the data. And ultimately, they are all pulled out from the database tables. You can see these are the sales order database tables as we all well know about them and you can also export this as a as a png file as an image out and store it in your system so that's it for the session i hope uh, you enjoyed this session about quick tricks on cds views and i hope to see you that you must be working on s4 hana uh, above on hana feel free to subscribe my trainings on anubavtrainings.com on s4 hana latest concepts including the annotation concept, the OData concepts, concepts related to CDS POPF integrations. Uh, also, we do have RESTful ABAP programming model available now as ABAP on cloud programming uh, with, with our new course, which we have recently launched. Uh, of course, you must learn these new techniques to survive as an ABAP developer in the market today. Uh, we are offering also end-to-end -end bunch of courses without any prerequisite on HANA, which covers complete HANA plus about development together definitely a must know thing for any developer today in the market with that anubhav signing out thank you so much please do let me know your comments and feedback on the on the comment box below in this video don't forget to subscribe on this video and i will see you in the next video thank you